same dude you knew in Little League, same dude you study with in Italy. I paid some dudes, learned some rules, did the history, and now I rock it with the motherfucking boy officially. And I ain't even close to being done yet. I never picked last, cause they knew the Jay was dumb wet. Not much of a scrapper, I can fuck up any drum set. You live in the Maryfields, you probably heard it from your front step. Yup. And that was back in middle school. I made big boy noise and I was minuscule. Do a report card, my mama caught some tennis shoes. Take me out the old country for my favorite dinner too. I made A's and B's. Nobody believed me. Hey, hey. I'm not late. I'm right on time. Lock the door to my room and started banging music out. Y'all wanna talk about a blessing in disguise? How about destiny? Y'all still expecting a compromise, please. Oh, don't worry, Chris. Cumberger's in the mix. It's just not on the board. What's up, good cunts? Enjoy good cunts, always. Tonight, we are sponsored by My Die Productions, who I'm happy to partner with to explore the vulgar world of language and the way humans misuse it and misinterpret it and the way we as pin lovers, makers, artists, collectors can use our vulgar pins to maybe change the way some people feel about how words can affect them and how words should be interpreted. So anyway, we're gonna engage in that, in that, uh, in that kind of a dialogue here with the chat room and whatever I can soapbox on. I get a lot of shit for monologuing. You monologue, you monologue. Well, I, I monologue about the pins. It's not about me, it's about the pins. So. What's up, Midnight Society? My Die Productions in the house. Miss Priscilla, Glass Pyramid, Queen Pin, Rudo. Mr. Cunts is here. Daniel D, glad to see you. Got my Rolling Death Maui fuck everyone hat on. Yes, the shirt, the shirt does look good. The embellishments on this shirt are supreme. You got the 420 in the corner here, 420%. You got the Enjoy with the Pot Leaf dotted eye then on the back i mean yo i can't even just go check out their website for this shirt seriously also while we're running this while we're running this run tell this we're gonna give you guys a coupon code tonight to Might Die Productions. And you guys can go get some good cunt shit too. What's up, Beach Club? Yeah, how was that? Was that trippy enough for y'all? What's up? Goaty? My number one graphic designer, Goaty. Takes care of all my graphic design needs. Thank you, Godi, for taking care of the pirate on the on the daily need for updates on the graphics. Always representing the pin wizard, of course, in the main logo and all the collabs I've done so far with everybody, of course. Love the variants. But uh, gotta give it up to Godi for continuing to come through. LiveDieFree.com. LiveDieFree.com is where you can go to uh, get that 25% off the night, all right? So, yes, when I first found my die, I was, you know, y'all know me. You know me. I see the word cunt and I have hearts in my eyes. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, you know, like that's just, C is for cunt and that's good enough for me. Hey, that's what's up. What's up, Justin? <clears throat> Want to also remind everybody uh, out there that uh, Snot Rocket Cat is gonna be donating uh, all of all of the proceeds from any sales whatsoever to uh, the Las Vegas Victims Fund. Um, so you know. I really feel like, you know, I wish I could, I wish I could personally do more. I'm not in a position to do any more. I, I could have, we could, it happened so quickly and I was hugely impacted by it. I mean, just emotionally and, and just honestly, like, I have a whole nother set of me that y'all don't see about what goes on with my emotions, but 
man, Sunday into Monday was tough. And so we did what we could do. And I, you know, being so close to it, if we can do something, Justin is uh, doing what he can. Uh, let's support him. If you're interested in getting any of uh, Snot Rocket Cat pins, now's the time. They're all $5. $5 pins all going to the Las Vegas Victims Fund. That's great. So. So. I mean, we can call out some cunts, but I'm not trying to have a call, cunt call-out episode. What's up, Fred? Sunset? Lost Cyan? What's up, Mo? Shapeshift, bro brother. Shapeshift. Shapeshift into a cunt. Because there are good cunts and there are bad cunts. Jason Statham would agree with me. That there are good cunts and bad cunts. Stephanie? What's up, Stephanie? I see you. Sick pins. Um, what pin am I got? I'm rocking. Oh, and I, of course, I have to wear the original, the OG cunts, Patty and Thelma. Wow. Ow. Turn me up a little. Can y'all hear me now? I want some other shit. My best friend's weirded out. Tell me, hear, hear me out. Look. Treat the game like the lane till the lane's cleared out. That's it. Treat the game like a lane until the lame's cleared out. That's it. Pin reviews. What's up, what's up Jackie? Miss Priscilla, we're gonna get to them. We're gonna get to these cunty pins, but we're gonna have a talk about cunty pins. And talk about like, the ability of a pin, I think, to, to catch someone off guard. Now, you see these pins tonight are all iconic American images. Iconic American images here. The Goodyear blimp, Top Gun, and the, obviously the Air Force, and Coca-Cola. I have a couple others. I've got a Crispy Cunt, I've got a Cunt Burger, and I've got a Lucky Charms Cunt, which we're going to show, but we're featuring these... Um, for a reason. Now, Might Die Productions is out of Australia. And in Australia, this is a great time to really get into it because in Australia not too long ago, really not that long ago, they had an incident not unlike the ones we continue to have every day in this country. And they did something about it. And what I find very fascinating is that through various forms of expression and being completely brutally honest and raw with things and getting over your fucking shit and getting over your fucking self and your ego and your fucking sensitivities, which we all fucking have. So, if you can use the word cunt and express the word cunt and embrace the word cunt, maybe you wouldn't want to shoot somebody unnecessarily. The problem with America is that we believe in the freedom of speech, but we don't exercise the freedom of speech. We exercise the freedom of, of passive-aggressive hatred and now in-your-face hatred and in your, in your most comfortable place hatred. When you're having the most fun and you're being the most of yourself and you're like letting go and you feel like you're, you're amongst friends and no harm will come to you. You're in a euphoric zone where you're probably doing drugs and you're probably making love and you're probably smoking weed and you're probably doing all sorts of things that you would only do in this one place and somebody starts shooting at you because they probably want to use the word cunt really bad and they can't. I mean, I know that's an exaggeration, but what I'm saying is, is that if this man could have released, if we can all just release in our own way and not be so put off how others release and just stay in your lane. Don't worry about what I'm doing in my lane if I'm rocking out, smoking and weed, getting my dick sucked. Like, just let me play with my pins and get the fuck out of my way, you know? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to drive it home about what I'm trying to get at here. Like, look, Coca-Cola, brainwash. Movies, cinema, all sorts of marketing, the brainwashing, layers upon layers, obey, obey. <clears throat> the Goodyear blimp, I mean, come on, it's iconic for... You know, having the bird's eye view and being above above everyone else and bringing that good year. We're going to have a good year, but every year gets worse and worse. And it's like, man, we want to we wanna associate it with something good, but it's an omen of, of bad. Really, really, you know, this marketing shit. They live. It's 
That's right. So anyway, let's look at some pins. So first off, three of my personal favorites and my only cunt pins, but why would I have anything that wasn't one of my favorites, right? If it's a cunt pin, it's a, it's a favorite of mine. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> come on. So I've reviewed all three of these on this stream. That's why I didn't honestly put them up as a prominent feature. Don't worry, the pictures are gonna go up afterwards, you guys, don't worry. But um, this, is the, this is like the opening act. This is like the opening act, okay? I've put all three of these pins on this stream before. All right, so uh, y'all have had your air in the sun, but I still want to give you a lot of time because I love these cunt pins. The cunt burger glows in the dark from Seven Deadly. This is hard enamel. Single post. Could have used a double on it, but this is an old pin. I believe this is going to be sold out. I don't know. Seven Deadly, are you in the room? Yeah, the Pin Pirates Constitution. Oops, and I just dropped everything, you guys. I just dropped the whole shebang everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's right, I ain't never gonna change, baby. Just gonna get older and wiser and evolve. It's the evolution of oneself. Stay there for me for one second, you guys, while I fix all this cunty-ass shit that just happened. <laughs> I mean, would it not make sense for me to have some cunty shit happen on a stream like this? Come on, you know? So anyway. Everywhere's a cunt cunt. <laughs> uh, so the cunt burger glows. I believe it's sold out. Let's get back to that. The crispy cunt is kind of clean. Let's zoom in on the crispy cunt, shall we? And try to show a little bit of this crispy cunt. Some of the white enamel is a little bit um, caked, I would say. I would use like to use the word caked for the white enamel on this. You can't really see it, but you'll see it in the picture. This is a glow in the cunt. Yes, Midnight Dogs. This is a glow in the cunt, and this is a lucky cunt. Cunt, as I like to call it, cunty charms. <laughs> my cunty charms pin. I love my cunty charms pin from eye, eye, candy, eye candy Designs. One of my favorites. One of my favorite cunt pins. Probably my favorite pin of all time still. Cunty charms. Still. This is my second purchase of this pin. I gave this pin away in Texas when I won a national championship to the... Daughter of the family that allowed us to sleep there for one night only <laughs> While we watched the game and went back and stayed there. She wanted this. I gave it to her I felt it was good karma. We won the game anyway, and I gave it to her I was like, that's it. That's the payment. She gets the lucky cunt. Then I bought another one y'all know so There are those crispy cunt fin pin out of Los Angeles Love that cunty charms easy CM the cunt burger is great too. I mean, look, you guys, crispy cunt, cunty charms, aka lucky cunt, and cunt burger. Huh, that's like the trifecta of delicious cuntiness, right? Delicious cuntiness right there. Then, then you guys, what we do is we wash it all down with an enjoy cunt from my die, and boom, we have like, you know, breakfast, lunch. And dinner. I'm gonna have some Krispy Kreme donuts for dinner. <laughs> Zen Monkey is Gaelic for cunt. That's a great one, Gotham Goddess. I forgot that. Thank you for reminding me how much cuntiness Zen Monkey has. <laughs> <laughs> I hope someone is counting how many cunting how many times I said cunt so far. <laughs> oh fuck, I love it. I love it. This is why I have those fuck off pins, fuck you pins. Look at top cunt here. I mean, and look, you guys. Let's take a look at the backing cards on these. 
because these are strong as fuck as far as I'm concerned. A plus all the way around. And it's not that complicated either on these, you know? It's a Coke bottle. Enjoy cunt. Man, do I, would I love putting this up in my office, which I'm going to when I get an office. I don't have one yet, but I will. Hopefully. Knock on some wood. Tom Cruise. We got Maverick there in the cut. In the cunt. <laughs> you can get it tonight, 70, 25% off. I'm not sure how long the coupon will last. We'll ask, uh, we'll ask, uh, Seamus. How long? Might die. How long are we going to get that coupon on? It's... Oh, shit. The coupon is... The coupon is, uh, Pen Pirate. I'm sorry. I guess it's time we reveal that, shall we? Are you leaving that cunt fay for all your cunty behavior? <laughs> so they're all soft enamel, double posted. Got the back stamp there. Do you like that catch with my thumb? Y'all don't even know I was a catcher. I caught things. I'm a catcher. Got the strong back stamps on these. Black metal. Boom. Strong. Top cunt is great. These are bloody damn good cunts here. Bloody damn good cunts here. <laughs> Cunter? What's up, friend center? Can't pin drop, severed supply? Give you a few days on the code, guys. A few days on the code. Let's at least make it for the 24 hours while the stream is up, huh? How about that? If you end up watching this whole thing, kudos for you. You get the cunt coupon code and go get yourself some some schmeckles off that shit. <laughs> Bloody cunt's pen intended. <laughs> This is out of control. You guys are excellent. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm going to go back and count how many times Cunt has said. So the thing I love the most about this pin, obviously, is the little embellishments, like I said. The pot leaf on the top and the J. The 420%. This is clean as fuck, though. So what a strong pin to wear to get some tacos. <laughs> when you get that Mexican Coke and they look at you like, oh, okay. Gotta love the shoe in this. See, the laces are untied. You see that? The laces are untied in the shoe. God damn bless you guys for that shit. I love it. Also, clean as fuck. Great one to wear to the baseball to the baseball game. Dodger game, I'll say specifically. And then top cunt. Oh man. I mean, look. If I had, if I needed another reason to have a cunt pen, just the fact that it kind of. It has a military, I mean, it is a military feel, but, you know, it looks kind of official. So you could wear this to, like, a memorial service or something for, for like, Veterans Day or something like that. And I bet some vet would be like, top, top cunt, oh my god, son, that is amazing. Where did you get that pen? And you should give it to him right then. Any veteran that rec recognizes this pen is like, top cunt, oh my god, can I please, you know, like, can I, s you give it to him. You gotta give it to him, right? Can't wait. Can't wait till I see some vet say that top cunt i just gave away just tonight i gave away mercaba rick to my neighbor 
I gave away Macabre Rick to my neighbor just because he wanted it. He saw it when I was taking pictures one day. He was like, man. And then he asked tonight. And I was like, where can I get that? And I was like, man, you can get it right here from the pen pirate. Here. You take mine. And I will find a way to get another one or fuck it. It wasn't. It's always meant to be yours. All the drama it caused was Zen, Zen Cunty Studios. Cunty Zen Monkey Studios, man. Zen Monkey Cuntios. <laughs> Cuntios. God damn, these cunts are amazing. Love it. There we go, there we go. So I'm gonna bombard you with a San Diego drop real quick. Look, I'm gonna kill kill you with this for the next two weeks. It's my job, so I'm doing it. If you're catching the stream for the first time, because I've been hashtagging some San Diego people, so I want y'all to see what I'm doing here. San Diego, I'm coming for your vagina, and I'm gonna put a bunch of fucking pins in it. <laughs> it's a 21 and up event. It's This is the perfect night to promo. 21 and up stream, all right? October the 14th. Come one, come all. I'm doing an in-stream in promo right now. <laughs> Uh, now vagina is offensive. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set the record straight. I'm gonna set the record straight about what I do here. And I'm gonna keep doing it, I guess. I... <laughs> currently, I do not sell or make pins. If, if I do sell any pins... They are my own that I've bought or traded for or acquired that I'm selling under my own fruition that I did not make and I'm not selling in a store or for sale in any retail way. Like, at, that would be need promoting or need help at any place or any time like that. Now, I did just make a t-shirt and that's for my crewmates that wanted to join the Pin Pirate Army and that's what that was. And that is hopefully to make a pin, which I hope to do someday soon. Okay, otherwise I look at the pens here that I trade for, buy, and get in any other way that I might collaborate with makers that I find to be top quality at the top of their game, at the top of the game in the pen community. I'm looking for the best pens. I'm trying to show my people who follow me and my crew what the best, best pens are that I like. Like, I don't cater to any certain crowds in any other way than my interests. If there are pin makers out there that make things that we discuss them and I like the artwork or it's another thing that we've decided to work on together that maybe it's not up my alley. I still appreciate art in every sense of the way it can be. So there's no way that you're going to tell me that just because I don't like whatever it is that you like and you don't see it on here, you may never see it. It just means that I haven't had it yet. So I'm into all kinds of stuff if it's beautiful art. That's what I'm for. Is people trying to put their ideas and their imagination to physicality and put it out there in the world so others can enjoy it too. That's it. If it makes you happy, it makes me happy too. And that's what I want to help you with. That's what I hope you want to do. All right? That's it. Showing off some pins, doing some shit. So I'm going to be hosting the social media shit for the show. So even if you can't be there, go follow that account at SD Pen and Pat Show. And you'll be able to follow my streams for the 48 hours pretty much leading up to it, including something coming up soon that's only going to be on there. So I really, I'm, I can't tell you guys enough how I really want y'all to follow me over there for the, for the event and follow me there because this thing is official now. So it's going to be next year and the year after that, and I'm hoping to return next year. That would be great. If we can start planning next year, I'll have bigger ideas for this. So... Um, if they're willing to collab again already, then I'm down, but we have to succeed with the first one first and then we can do that. So let's, you know, take the army where we need to, to make shit happen. All right. All my cunts. I love all, all my little cunts out there. I'm sorry for any underage cunts out there, but it's good to blood you early, like the unsullied. <laughs> blood you early so that you can take it. And you know what you're fighting for, and you fight for what you believe in, and uh, you know how to use your language wisely. I mean, words can incite people to do things, and say things, and be things that you never thought they could. And when you are a wordsmith, and you have wordplay, 
and you can pull cunt out at a moment where it takes them by surprise because they're not casual with cunt like you and I might be. But that is our weapon and that is their weakness, isn't it? As this song comes on, I love it. So tomorrow, the cunt for Red October, sick pins for the win. Yeah, I know, Desert Days is going on, that sucks. Uh, it was a bad weekend choice, I guess, but you know, things happen and we'll see who really is a part of the pin community and who's a part of the Desert Days community, <laughs> I guess, if there is a Desert Days community. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there is, but um, not my. it's not my cup of tea, let's just put it that way. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is yet to be determined at the moment, but I'm not, that's because I'm transparent with y'all. Tomorrow's up in the air. Tomorrow is was scheduled to be a pin release, reveal, review, uh, Bonanza, Star Wars, Wednesday. And at the current moment, I only have one half of what we need to complete that stream tomorrow night, here, physically. I'm waiting on something. The mailman should be a god tomorrow and bless me with it. I hope it's here in Los Angeles, but for some reason it's sitting somewhere and not in my fucking house. So, <laughs> that's what's happening right now. The USPS cunts are being cunty. And today is the perfect cunty day being October the 3rd for Aaron Samuels Day and all the mean girl cunts, Regina George and Gretchen Wieners and Katie Heron. She's a cunt too, really. Lindsay Lohan is a cunt in a good way. She's a good cunt. So is Amanda Bynes, good cunt. Jessica Biel, good cunt. Uh, who else is good? Bad cunt. Vince Vaughn, bad cunt, bad cunt. Uh, Jason Sudeikis, bad cunt. Charlie Day, bad cunt. Um, uh, who else? This is fun. Brett Ratner, the worst cunt. <laughs> uh, no one's ever gonna see this, so it doesn't matter. Maybe they will, who knows. I hope I can put this on YouTube. There might be too many curse words for YouTube. Oh, speaking of YouTube, this is great. I recently went back and looked at a bunch of archived episodes that are, not archived, but just episodes, uh, streams that are on the YouTube channel. And I've realized that there were some copyright things that were holding up a few of them that have now been cleared. I have muted and removed some songs somehow. And some old streams that were unviewable are now viewable. I can't tell you exactly which ones because I forget the dates off the top of my head and where they were because they were all just pin flank live streams. But they're the ones with the lowest amount of views. The ones with the lowest amount of views on YouTube are ones that if you are new to this are probably ones that are great that we couldn't upload because they were something music wise or something streaming wise or something. They're there now, which is fantastic. So if you have time and are bored or at work, I listen to YouTube sometimes. I don't know if you guys do, but you know, and then every once in a while you can look over at the pins, you know, or write down the ones that you should go look at later because the photos are all up. You can, I post all the photos. The past three months-ish, I've posted all the photos. The first month, it wasn't so solid, but I got on track it after midway through that, and I've been on track ever since, posting every single photo for every single stream that is featured on one of these boards. The hat pins, not so much, because usually I've featured the hat pins before. I feel like this is like a catch-up episode for people. I get a lot of new viewers, and I'm really well. I'm really excited to have everybody join the crew and join the plank. Uh, walk the plank with me. Block, walk the bloody cunt plank with me. I enjoy when girls say cunt. I can't say it. Skiggity, skiggity. Ignorant bastards, what's up? I see you, ignorant bastards. All right. So tomorrow, to be determined, if it is happening, it'll be at 8 o'clock. All right. Peace, love, and yark. Do 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 do.